Come here. Come here, Battle Truth. Come here. I don't even want the, the, the blogger Battle Truth. I don't want the analyst Battle Truth. I want the lawyer Battle Truth. Get your ass over here right now. See, I was going to let this shit go, but you kept pushing the issue, bro. See, at first you was trying to sell this whole narrative of being this God-fearing Christian and, and a man holier than thou, and you would never bring another man down, but for some reason, you just keep on pressing away at this Kiki Math Hoffa thing. So, let me come back one more again for that ass and talk to you real quick, man to man. Brother, let me tell you something. The shit that you doing right now is despicable and it's unnecessary. You need to wait till you get both sides of the motherfucking story and the facts. But here's the thing. You're trying to sell a narrative because you want to push a narrative that Matt Hoffa is guilty instead of just saying these are the facts y'all decide for yourself. So let me break this down since you're trying to play lawyer, right? You're trying to play this fake judge, right? So here's the thing. First, you bring somebody that don't nobody know to say a bunch of shit in favor of what you saying is true, which is math talk to detectives. Okay, let's say math talk to detectives. Cool. He didn't say that he talked to detectives or whatever the case may be. But let's go to Kiki's side of the story. But again, this is not to hurt Kiki and harm Kiki. This is to talk about your one-sided ass. So Kiki... Not being under any distress, not having a gun to her head, not saying I'm going to push you off this building if you don't if you don't say what we want you to say. She talks to detectives and detectives ask her, did you have consensual sex with Mav Hoffa? She says, yes. I'm sorry. The first time she says no. The, the first time she says no. Now, as detectives, I'm like, oh, hell no. Because that's why that's that's everybody who has a wife, everybody that has a sister, everybody that has a mother. Now you feeling like this woman has been taken advantage of by Mav Hoffa. We're going to have to talk to Mav Hoffa. So they get to Mav Hoffa and then they say, hey, tell us what you tell us what happened. Tell us your side of the story. Mav Hoffa says it was consensual sex. So now they're scratching their head. They're like, whoa, wait a minute. She said something different. So let's go back to her. Let's go back to the person that says they were a victim of Matt Hopper. So they get back to Kiki. And then Kiki says, let me backpedal on my story. Come here, Battle Truth. Sit your ass down. Let me explain this shit to you. Once she changed her story from it being non-consensual to consensual, that was a lie. That was a lie. Do you understand that? Now, at some point in time, she may have said, no, stop. At some point in time, she may have said, no, stop. But let me tell you something, black man. Stop playing fake lawyer. Stop playing fake judge. And think about this. If she lied about saying it was not consensual the first time, then changed it to say it was consensual, but then she said no. What make you think that she's telling the truth now? There has to be more to this story. Do you understand? There has to be something that she wanted from math that math didn't want to give her. And she decided, okay, now I'm going to spin this whole rape thing. Because like you said, well, the rape kit is null and void. Because if she said it was consensual and he says it was consensual, then there's no, there was no rape that took place. But once you change your story, once the victim changes their story. See, the thing about it is. If you want people to understand where you're coming from as a victim, you tell the truth. You said the easiest thing to do is tell the truth because when you lie, it makes it harder. Well, here's the thing. She made it harder. She made it harder. And instead of you being a grown ass man, instead of you standing on your own two feet, 10 toes down and being battle truth. The one united front, you decide, well, let me point more at math. See, I told y'all he was lying about talking to detectives. So what? So what? Think, think about this. So what? Because here's the thing. You caught this man in a lie that says, well, you know, I ain't talked to no detectives or whatever case may be. 
but he's not accusing nobody of rape. And you just in your in your little segment that you're talking about how Math Coffee is lying again, you skip smoothly the fuck past Kiki lying. Huh? You, you, you skip smooth the fuck past her saying it was non-consensual to yes, it was consensual to another story talking about, well, you know, it, it started off consensual, but then, you know, I said no. My thing about it is why would someone believe that she said no at this point? Why not come out from the beginning and says we started to have sex doing while doing sex or whatever the case may be? I changed my mind. Let me tell you something that your spidey senses is not picking up, brother. Don't don't turn them right. Come here. Put the gavel down. Put the gavel down. You know, you lost that right. We ain't playing with you. We dead ass serious with you. Let me sit down. Sit your ass down. If Mav Hoffa choked her out. OK, if he choked her out, then there should be bruises around her neck that she would have took pictures of. What woman nowadays don't take a, a hundred thousand selfies? So she should have some type of bruises around her neck. So if they can't get her, if they can't get them for rape, they can get them for assault. Huh? Huh? And she takes that those photos to the police and say he assaulted me and held me down against my will and forced me to have sex with him. She can't get her story right. There's holes in her story. But instead of listening to someone blindly, because that's what you're doing. You're listening to a woman blindly. I don't know if you've had somebody close to you raped. So you feel very passionate about this. I don't know if you feel that, well, if you do this to math. You'll get his following or whatever the case may be. It's personal for you, obviously. The thing about it is you have a responsibility to report the fucking facts. Report the facts. Don't try to use motherfucking some weirdos coming here. Yeah, Matt, talk to the police. Who the fuck are you? Go get the detectives that talk to him. If you want to do some real investigation, go get the detective that talked to him. Show us the police report of the interview where Matt Hoffa said X, Y, and Z. Bro, you just making some bullshit up on the phone with Kiki trying to make her look right when she said it was consensual. All her credibility went out the window. All her credibility went out the window because here's the thing. She didn't say it at first. Do you understand what I'm saying? How you come out is, is, is what you need to stand on, your word. And if you say this man raped you and you want, you want, you want justice through the means of the battle rap community and everybody else affiliated with the battle rap community. Now you want us to stand on your word. But when you go back on your word, we got to question that. We got to question that because we're not idiots like you said, Battle Truth. We're not stupid. So you want us to condemn Matt Hoffa based on someone that says, I'm a victim, but I can't get my story right for some reason. Are you fucking serious? You got to come see me, Battle Truth. You got to come see me and the rest of those bloggers that's reporting this shit one sided because they don't like math. Am I am I team math? No, I'm not team math. I'm team motherfucking reality. I'm team tough love. I'm team goddamn right here, right now. Show me the facts. And if you can't show people the facts, shut the fuck up. 